I'm just waiting for it. Just make sure we have a decent signal. Try to get the notification. All right, good. All right, hey, you know, Shalom. Hey, it's your brother Ari from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulership 3 and GMS 13 Rulership 4. Back at you again with another live lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And of course, before I start, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Wadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, was the word ignorantly called as God. The true name is Yahweh, which tra roughly translates to He is or He exists or He to be. We call on Yahweh through Yahweh Shai in the name Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which means uh, the deliverer, which is the name of our only God, the Lord's only begotten Son, uh, was the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His name roughly translates to He delivers or He saves. Okay, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is the name to call up for salvation. Also, want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who've been ruling and teaching well. Salutations to the Akim out there in the four corners of the globe, pushing the word out with truth and sincerity. You know, your brothers out there that are listening and learning, your sisters out there that are listening and learning. May Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai continue to increase you in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as we approach the final hour. And again, it's your brother Ari Yah from the Tampa Bay camp. And, uh, you know, just you know, just to touch on the on the subject of you know a lot of a lot of our people started with basically our people because really the other people don't really matter the other nations, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You you know you continually uh, put the, the the Lord's counsel to naught. All right, you know you're not taking this serious. All right, you know you hear the you hear the prophets out there continually warning you about what's going on. You continue on in your folly. You continue on in your wicked ways. All right, you don't think the Lord sees you. You don't think the Lord's truly coming back. You don't believe in this. All right, you believe in something else. You're gonna go to church, but here it is. You got a brother that that looks like you. He's bringing up the actual Bible scriptures, and he's telling you about yourself, or he's giving you a fair warning from the Most High or a high of what's about to happen to this wicked place, man. And you don't want to take the counsel. You're gonna to continue to do the opposite of what the Lord. Has has uh, required of you, even after even after getting the the, the breakdown, even after getting uh, you know uh, uh, a warrant, you're still gonna continue wanting your father. Okay, and the Lord knows, man. The Lord sees everything, man. The Lord sees everything. The Lord, the Lord, uh, um, basically directs our steps into doing everything that we're doing. All right. And again, as we quote in every single lesson, you gotta give, you gotta, you have to uh, give diligence to make your call in an election show, because none of us know if we're part of the elect or not. So we gotta be doing what the elect should be doing whilst here in the flesh. And your brothers got scriptures already, the water, you know. Yeah, um, those are scriptures I wanted to pull out too. You know, brother put uh, Amos chapter nine verse eight. Yep, it says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord." Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom, which really is you, Jake's man. At the end of the day, uh, we we liken this the scripture, you know, in the modern era, onto the United States of America, which is indeed a sinful kingdom. There's no doubt about that. And the eyes of the Lord are definitely upon this place. All right, but you, Jake, are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? All right, the Lord is really watching you. All right, to see if you're going to repent. All right. He had, yeah, yeah, I'm going to send, send my prophets out amongst, my, amongst this great nation, amongst you Israelites. And, you know, you're supposed to heed to the word. But here it is, two-thirds of you, of you, uh, of you blessed Hispanics and Native Americans are not heeding to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the, and the Lord is watching you, man. The Lord, the Lord is watching everything that y'all are doing. Look at it out of here. Back in Amos. Slakia. Oh, son of a gun. Uh, this is the book of Amos. Keep passing it. It's like it's like it's doing it on purpose. Hold on a second. You know, and it, you know, cause uh, really, again, our people are the are the people of the Lord. All right, so we're the ones that the Lord, uh, he, uh, gave us the laws. 
Okay, none of these other none of these other uh, nations were given the laws. All right, and the, and the transgression of the law is what is sin. So we're the ones that are sinful. All right. So it says again, Amos chapter nine verse eight: Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Lord's going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy two thirds of the nation of Israel uh, from the United States. Okay. And it says, uh, and it says, uh, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. Right, because there's a remnant still here that the Lord, Lord has slated for salvation. All right. And those men, all right, specifically the men, are calling on their name and are doing this work. Okay, they're fulfilling their lot uh, uh, on the right hand side, that is. So the Lord's ultimately going to have mercy on those men. All right. That's speaking about the women in particular. The women have their own, you know, their own duty, their own lot. Okay, but really the men are the prophets. They're the ones that are, are that set the example for the nation. All right, so we're saying, so it says that uh, the Lord is not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, because the Lord has a remnant down here. So not the whole nation is going to be destroyed, but there is going to be a, a, a big chunk, okay, that's going to be destroyed off of the face of the earth. It says, it says uh, for lo, I will command... It says, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And, and again, you know, the, the Lord is going to sift the elect. Okay, he's going to sift, uh, what does it say, from all nations on, what does it say, from among all nations? Because what? This Israel um, amongst all the nations upon the earth. And everybody, again, has has gotten, has either gotten this, gotten this warning, or we'll soon, or we'll shortly get it. And the Lord's gonna be watching to see what you do with it, you know, because you're supposed to take this information and run with it, man. You're not supposed to just sit there and be like, oh, we'll argue with it, or um, or try try to rebut. Okay, like you know, you got a, a better way than you have Bashim Yasha has set up. No, this is the only way. This is the only way to lead that leads to salvation. You have to go according to the script. You can't go according to your own heart. The scriptures tell you not to lean on you to your own understanding. Because that way is going to lead to death. Another scripture that brothers quote all the time. Um, there's a way that seems right onto the man, but the ways thereof are death, which is roughly paraphrasing it. You may think you're doing the right thing and we're, and we're doing the wrong thing. But you have no foundation to back up your actions. When we have a foundation to back up our action, it's the Holy Bible. It's the Word of God, if, if you will. Okay? You want to say something? We're going to go into the Bible and we're going to tell you, okay, look, it says it right here. And there's a precept on that to break that down to even further for you. So so what say you? Oh, well, that was written by man. Well, if you're going to continue on on that our argument, then you might as well just throw out all the literature that you ever ingested in your life. Whether it be a textbook, you know, encyclopedia, all that was written by man. You can't, you can't even use that. Matter of fact, all the words that you're saying were written by man. So you can't even use that. So you might, you know... So when you're trying to say you, the, the the Lord the Lord doesn't deal with men, but when you go to the scripture, the Lord is dealing with all types of men in the scriptures, actual physical men, okay, that are in the flesh. These are uh, you know actual men. You don't think the Lord the Lord stopped dealing with men now? No, it's the same situation, man. And it's even turned up more because we're in the final hours of 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 uh, of uh, a wicked rulership. The Lord's about to bring destruction upon the world. So the Lord is dealing, of course he's going to deal with people down here on the earth. Shalom to all the Akiyom. I wouldn't have been on for 10 minutes yet. The water. Um, we got uh, verse 10, Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil, that's the point. It says the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You see, because the pe our people, they're so fucking wicked, man. They're gonna say they they're gonna they go they're gonna say ain't ain't nothing gonna happen if I you know if I eat pork. You know, my 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 grandfather been smoking cigarettes all his life. He died at 85 years old. He lived a long, fruitful life. He's been smoking cigarettes, he been he eats pork. Okay? Oh so you so you try to say the Lord's Lord ain't dealing with that? Well my my hey, my grandfather lived a long life. They're gonna hit you with something like that. I'm gonna do what I'm just gonna do with my family. I'm gonna do what I know. I'm just gonna do what I know. I'm not gonna argue with the system. All right. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do what I know. What feels good to me in my heart. 
and, and, and leave it at that. And if you got a problem with it, then F you. You know, and it ain't us that has a problem with it. I mean, we do have a problem with it because we hate we hate sin. We hate iniquity the same way as our Lord does. All right. But it's the Lord really at the end of the day that's going to judge you. We're just giving you a warning. Hey, man, you ought to change your ways. You know, you know, God, you know, he's going to send his only begotten son to the earth. His true name is Yahweh Shai. And you're going to bring judgment upon the earth here pretty soon. You might want to get right with the Lord while we, you know, while you have liberty to do so. I ain't trying to do all that. That's too much, man. It's too much for the average person to just to just stop being wicked, man. It says all the sin. It says the sin. It says all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which meaning they're gonna die a violent death. Okay, a painful violent death, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And they continue on in that in that mindset and see what the, and see what happens to you. We're here to give you a warning that yes, something's gonna happen to you. We're not gonna do anything, but our heavenly Father has to set up so that something does indeed happen to you. That's bad. Okay, but there's a way to escape it. And we're here to remind you about that and, and warn you about it. And we're going to keep telling you the same, we're going to keep telling you the same, uh, uh, you know, story, the same song and dance. Yeah, it's going to be the same scriptures coming out in every lesson. Because we in that time now. Jake don't want to hear it. Jake, Jake don't want, don't want to hear any of this. This is, this is a, this is a, a buzzkill. You know what I mean? Psalm 125 and 4. Do good, O Yahweh, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. Right. You know, so we, you know, we pray to the Heavenly Father that, that we're doing good, so that the Lord does good unto us. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahshai, shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Right. So everyone else is going to get destroyed, man. Okay. You're going off. Okay. Especially after you got the breakdown, you know, you a Jake, you know, you an Israelite. Okay, I'm an Israelite. I'm one of God's chosen people. That should, that should, you know, strike a chord with your spirit, man. I'm like, oh, one of God's chosen people. Wow. You know, but that don't really mean nothing to the average black, Hispanic, Native American, so-called. I don't mean nothing to them. You can tell me you're, a, oh, you're an Israelite. You know, God loves you. He ain't dealing with you. He ain't dealing with Chinese. He ain't dealing with so-called white man. They, they ain't gonna, they, they, they'll be like, oh, well, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. But at the same, in the same breath, they can't, they can't repent. It's too hard for them just to, you know, to put down the, the cigarettes or something like that. Stop defiling your temple, you know, maybe grow your beard out, you know, start there, you know. Stop eating swine, stop eating, you know, these, these are things that we can, we all have control over to a certain extent, of course. Because they're going to put swine in, in the littlest things. Here it is, you're going to wash your hand. You're going to go to the bathroom and wash your hand. The soap is made from glycerin, got glycerin in it, which comes from goddamn swine, man. So, it, it, you you know, you can't, you try your best to avoid it, but you know you still can't. You know, but, it, you know, it is with the Lord. Uh, you know, we understand that the Lord understands our, our plight. He sees us down here working. He sees us down here fighting and, and trying. You know, that's the, you got to at least try. That's what the Lord wants to see. He wants to see you put in that good effort. But you're not putting in no effort. You just say, oh, the Lord don't care about that. The Lord don't care if I get a chip in my hand. You think the Lord cares if I get a chip in my hand? I got to feed my family. You have Israelite teachers tell, telling you that it's all right to do that. And you're stupid if you don't get it. You have Israelite teachers telling you that. But here it is. The scripture's telling you if you do that, then you're going you're gonna to get exploded, man. So what are you going to listen to? You're going to listen to this fat bastard over here or are you going to listen to what the scriptures say? The scriptures are telling you what to do, okay? And what to look for, the signs to see. You, mean, you ain't looking, you're going to get caught up in all this prophecy, okay? That's what we try to tell you. And it's all love at the end of the day. We're not, we're not just telling you, saying this to, uh, you know, to start controversy. This is some serious stuff, you know? This is deadly serious. Um, Psalm 40, 48 and 11, let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go around about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bullocks, uh, I'm sorry, her bulwarks. Uh, consider her palaces that ye may tell it in the generation following. You know, it, 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 you know this here, we in the last generation right now. And the generation to come after this is going to be within the kingdom of heaven. Okay? <laughs> and everybody that dies here on this side, all the sinners of, of the Lord's people that die on this side, 
they're going to be reborn in the kingdom of heaven and, and, and they're going to hear about every, everything that happened down here in this world and in, in this in this kingdom. It says for this for this power, this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Second Edges 7 and 19. Uh, shalom unto the brother Mayum. Second Edges 7 and 19. And he said unto me, there is no judge above the heavenly father and none that hath understanding above above the highest right. First and foremost, you, every everyone down here needs to understand that that the heavenly father is one and there ain't no there ain't no god with him okay there's no other god no power all right that that reigns with with the most high yahweh okay it goes down to yahweh shot okay yahweh is the heavenly father he's the father of all spirits even yahweh shot yahweh shot is known as the only begotten son son of who son of the heavenly father yahweh so the heavenly, hey, it starts with the heavenly father, man. All judgment begins with him. This is his, this is, this is his, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, story, his movie. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. But, um, what you call it? Salaki about that. You know, the, these people in the world, they, they don't wrote off the heavenly father as if, as, as if, it's just a, a, a it's a myth now. It's not a it's not a real it's not a real um it's not a real being. It's just a myth. It's just a, something that we tell our children. Oh God, don't like that. If you do that, God's not gonna like that. You know, like some Santa Claus type shit. That's what that's what that's what people think of God like. Oh, some Santa Claus type shit. You know, God is a living power, man. And we try to remind you about that. It says, and none. That have understanding above the highest. Verse 20. This is 2nd Andrew 7 and 20. For there be, there be many that perish in his in this life. Because they despise the laws of the Heavenly Father that are set before them. Right. And that's what's going to happen again. Again, It says this life, right? So this life that we, we, we're, we're mortal men. You know, which means we're subject to death. And why are people put to death? Because of their iniquity, man. You know, again, what you you so-called blessed Spanish Native Americans, the Lord, the Lord, the Heavenly Father will put you in a situation to that you receive judgment. You do too much wicked on this earth, the Lord's going going to put just uh, uh um uh execute judgment upon you. It could be a car accident. You know, mad people died in a car accident up in uh what do you call it uh, Ohio uh, yesterday on the on the uh on the holiday. It was a snow, a snow accident. I guess it was a pileup. You know, like a dozen people perished. You know, that's crazy, man. Imagine, imagine that Christmas Day, you find out, you, you find out you, you, you know, two people in your family died in a car car wreck, got smashed up by a semi, and slammed into the back of them against another. That's a horrible judgment, man. But they were sinning. They were sinning against the Heavenly Father. They were celebrating this holiday, doing the wrong thing. So the Lord brought judgment upon them. You go to the book of Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 9. It says, Then say he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. So the whole house of the whole nation of Israel, okay, is exceeding great. The iniquity of, of, of the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, is exceeding great. All right? High level iniquity at this point, man. This scripture that says that your deeds surpass the deeds of the wicked. Who's the wicked? The so-called white man. So you you doing worse than him? You doing worse things to him? Imagine if, if if the Lord gave you niggas power now, all right, with, with the mindset you have now, you would do a worse job than you would tear this earth apart. Because the, hey man, the so-called white man, yeah, he, he's bad, he got bounds. All right, he's the wicked, he sets the standard for wickedness, but you niggas wanna exceed the wickedness, man. It's not enough for you to, to, to be to be gay. No, you gotta be extra flamboyant out there so that everybody knows you're gonna wear high heels. You a fucking man. You out there wearing high heels? The hell you doing, dog? That's that pride. That all that, man. You taking the you you year of your father the devil. Alright? You follow after Esau. Esau do this that you say that this is good, you're gonna do it to the you're gonna do that to the best of your ability instead of doing the will of the heavenly father. Um, Ezekiel chapter 9 and 9 it says Then said he unto me The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah Is exceeding great And the, and the land is full of blood 
in the city full of perverseness. For they say, the Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. And that's where you got it wrong, Jack. You got you got it wrong because what? Uh, a, a day, uh, uh, what does it say? Uh, a day to the Lord is a thousand. Was a um, get that second Peter. Hey man, the the Lord sees all this. He's th the Lord is 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 uh, uh uh what do you call it? The eyes of the Lord. And we read that earlier. Are on this sinful kid. They go to and fro throughout the earth, uh, via the chariots, the angels. So the Lord sees everything that's going on in this earth. Whether you 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 be in a, you might be in a dark room doing something wicked. Hey, you don't see, no one see me. The Lord sees you, man. The Lord's in a higher dimension. He sees everything, man. You know, <laughs> you, you act like you hiding something. You slick. You're not slick, bro. That's why you have to repent. That's why we have to be meek and humble. Because we know we're going off down here time after time. Uh, so we have to ask the Lord, hey, man, you, you know, public Shaw, you know, Salakia, you know, you know, for my thoughts or whatever you may have done. You did something by mistake. You, you went off. You got too fleshly. You did something you should not have done or whatever. You, you repent. You try better than that next time. The Lord just wants to see you try. He wants to see you do it out of the fear of being destroyed. Because we don't fear nobody on this earth. Okay, we fear the Heavenly Father. What's the scripture say? Yeah, I wish I said it. Y'all fear not them that can destroy the body, but um, but fear the one that can destroy the body and soul. So that's the Heavenly Father. So we put our fear to the Heavenly Father. That's the fear of the Lord, a healthy fear of the Lord. That's what you, that's going to get you through life. That's what's going to get you in the chariots of salvation. That's what's going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. You're going to obtain the glory of the kingdom of heaven, but you have to start now with the fear of the Lord. These niggas out here, they don't, they don't believe. Um, I'll read that part again before I go into 2 Peter. This is uh, Ezekiel 9 and um, towards the end. I'll read the whole thing again. 9 and 9. It says, Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. Right? Y'all niggas do what you want to do. You're killing each other. Okay? You're not going to take that energy and you're going you're gonna to take it to kill the enemy. No, you're going you're gonna to see your brother as your own enemy. You're going to kill him. A next door neighbor, you break into his house, steal his PlayStation or whatever. It, 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 like that's what you do, you know. Trying to sleep with another man's woman, you do these things, and it's just normal in 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 uh, you so-called blacks and Hispanics neighborhoods. It's a normal thing. Drunk, you just walking around the streets, drunk as fuck. Missing teeth, just walking around, stumbling, drunk, like literally drunk. Like that's and, and you get. You know, older men in their sixties walking around drunk in the in the goddamn cold ass winter. Like this is this is a goddamn shame, man. How low our people are falling. These are supposed to be the people of the Lord. So we understand that. Okay, at this point, you, you know the Lord the Lord got to do something. The Lord's got to change this and make it right. It says, "I read the next verse." All right, yeah, let me finish it though. It says, "Uh." For they say, the Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. So that's where you got it wrong. The Lord hasn't forsaken the earth just because you you know you haven't seen any signs of the Lord, because you don't you're not you don't know where to look. The Lord ain't, ain't supping with you like that. So you don't see the signs of life. We see the signs. We see. We see that the Lord exists because the Lord is showing us. He ain't showing you. We try to show you. The Lord is showing us, and we try to show you. But you looking at us like, oh that, that, ain't, that ain't what you think it is. Yeah, it is. It says, uh, verse 10, And as for me also, mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. So, the Lord going to bring judgment upon you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans that don't repent. You know, you, you refuse to repent and show the Lord that you really, you know, just sorry for, you know, your, your actions. What do you think is going to happen to you? The Lord is going to bring death and destruction upon your household. You're not going to repent. You don't believe in this. You don't, you, you, it's, it's too, that hard. It's too hard for you to repent. Turn away from the world and turn to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Like certain men on the earth have done. You can't do it. Why? Because, because the Lord ultimately hasn't chosen you. Okay? You, you are a vessel that's, that, that's slated for wrath and destruction. You know, Lord, Lord's will, we pray that we're the vessels uh, slated for salvation. Okay? The glory of the kingdom of heaven. 
It's Second Peter chapter three. I start at verse three. It says, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts." And scoffers go into false chiefs, false teachers, literal scoffers that want to heckle us. Okay, try to rebut everything, debate everything we saying. Okay, you don't believe, you won't say something opposite of what we say. You're going to talk over the prophets when the prophets are trying to bring out scriptures. You're going to laugh, you're going to you kick our signs, you're going to, hey, you scoffing. Or you're going to thumbs down the video because you, like, you, didn't, you didn't like the way he said that. And you don't believe in this breakdown. Oh, let me th thumbs that down. I'm going to report this to the YouTube, YouTube uh, uh, guidelines. I'm going to report it. Oh, no, he ain't following the guidelines. He's talking about hate. That's hate speech. I'm going to report it to, I'm going to report it. Press the button. Go out of your way to press the button. You Lord going watch, watching all you people, man. You scoffers. And so that proves that we in the last days. And it's been like this. Okay, ever since the apostles started preaching. All right, there's been scoffers. There's been a, 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 the opposition. Okay, so we know that, you know, we, we in those days. And that's, and that's like, what, that was 30 some odd years ago? And now here we are now. So you see how much uh, uh, things have progressed as far as prophecy is concerned? A lot. So we're seeing signs of the times on a high level right now where we're, you know, we're literally saying that this year coming up may be the year of our salvation. Now we can, we can confidently say that, <laughs> that it's possible. Okay. We don't know for sure. It could go into 2024. It could go into 2025, but we don't believe that. We believe it, it's more than likely going to be this year. I mean, I believe that, but if not, then, you know, that don't mean we're going to stop. No, we're going to continue to push forward as long as we need to. Lord's willing. Lucky about that. It's a guard, though. Every little thing here is going to bark. Hey, come here. Look, look, what's that? What's that? Hello? that again sorry about all that it says knowing this first that they shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust right and they only and they're only gonna do what they want to do they're not gonna they're not gonna do they're not gonna do what the lord wants they're gonna do what feel good oh it feels good to, to eat this particular meat okay it feels good to eat this particular meat uh and to partake in this in this particular uh uh um activity you know it, it, this ain't this ain't the old world this ain't the ancient world you know what I mean? So they're, they're going to do what they want to do. They're going to do what they want to do. They're going to walk after their own fleshly lust. They're going to walk after their own fleshly They, they ain't going to listen to the, what the prophets are saying. They're going to they're gonna listen to what their heart says. And every time you try to bring up a scripture to correct them, they're going to fight you over it, man. They're going to fight you tooth and nail over it because they don't, they, they don't want to change. Or they're going to cut you off. Or they're going to try to change the subject. Okay, or they're going to clown you. All right? We in the last days, man. Okay, the same, the same, the same, the same shit was going on. The same shit was going on back in the, in the days of Noah, man. They were making fun of Noah, all right, clowning him. Okay, we in those days, man. We in those days. So that's why, brothers, you know, we we gotta keep in mind that this is these are the days that the Lord was warned us about several times throughout the scriptures. This is the time that we've been looking for, man. This isn't a this isn't a um a, this isn't a drill, okay? It's about to go down. It really is about to go down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good. So it says um insane. Okay, so walking after their own lust, insane. Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So that's what they're gonna. That's their, that's their argument. You keep talking about, oh, yeah, how shy is going to come back. You've been saying that. Y'all been saying that forever. That's why, that's why I quit Great Millstone. That's why I quit being an Israelite because y'all cats been saying that forever. Okay? And it nothing, ain't nothing happening. We still here. You keep talking about the chip. 
ain't nothing happening because they're not watching. They don't have faith that, you know, the Lord's really going to do it. And we try to remind you, like, yeah, the Lord's really going to do it. The Lord's dead serious about this, man. All, at this point, all the brothers got the vision. We all know what it is at this point. Yeah, the Lord's really going to do it. It's going to be soon. That's why brothers are like, you know, we, we get antsy about it at this point. We get antsy about it. And we go, hey, brother, brother, to turn it up. Stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, again, you know, we get antsy about it. We feel the prophecies coming to pass. We see it every single day. We, we, put, we turn on the TV. Or we look at our phone. We see the next thing happening. All right? We send out the article. We're going to send an article to the brotherhood. We're going to share it. All right, brother going to put up scriptures. Uh, but it, might, it, might, it might compel a brother to make a video on it about prophecy. That's what we're doing right now, man. We wanted to, we wanted to flock. We try to, let the, we try to let the people know that, hey, man, it's going to happen. It's gonna happen. You can't say you didn't know. You ain't none of y'all can say you didn't know because we've been drilling this shit into your head for years. Okay, started with the apostle, been drilling this into your head for years, and you made fun of us. You yelling, you you know, you you gonna try to argue with us? You you women break up? You gonna break up with your man because of this? You gonna break up with him? Gonna try to take the kids? You gonna try to take the children away from him? Oh he oh he on some he in some cult? He in a you gonna lie and try to? Hey, he keep talking about the end of the world. I ain't trying to hear that negativity. I don't bring that negativity into my life. Okay? That's what they say. It says the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Um, oh no, uh, no, what was I reading? It says, it says, where is the promise of his coming? Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So they really believe that, man. You know, when things have been constantly uh progressing into you know the lord making his grand entrance man for this they willingly are ignorant of that that by the word of the most high the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water where by the world that then was being overflowed with water perished right because that's how the old world ended all right the, the heavenly father flooded the earth okay and killed everybody. Everybody died. The whole everybody on the earth died. Saved those eight people. That's a horrible thing that happened. That's a main. That's that. And it's not just a, a, a Christian story. This is the, this is recorded in all different civilizations' history. This flood that happened. It happened. It's something that happened. Okay. And now what the Lord is going to do is instead of doing that, He's going to do it with fire. All right. And we go, and we're telling you this, Slacky again. We're telling you He's going to bring fire. Okay. Salaki, so Salaki, like, so like I'm trying, man. You know, but um, that's how it's gonna happen this time. It says, it says, uh, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store. Right, the same word as like Noah was bringing out in the past, telling them fools. Oh, okay, they were telling them. But they didn't want to listen. They called it. They called him a fool. Okay. The word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. It says, uh, "Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men." So, the day that we're talking about, we're prophesying is a day of fire. All right, a day of fire where the Lord just destroys everything. Everything just burns up. Sodom and Gomorrah, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, got destroyed. Man, what was I thinking about? Oh, um. Malachi, just to bring that little verse out there, a little verse. This is Malachi chapter four. Jeez, get to my try to do it like that. All the pages turn. There we go. Malachi chapter four, verse one. It says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven." And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. That ungodly men. Okay? The Lord's coming to destroy you ungodly men. You're going to die in fire. We, and how's that fire going to come? It's going to come by the way of nuclear nuclear war. Okay? And also, it's going to be the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. All right? The chariots of salvation, which are going to come save the elect, are also going to come and bring destruction as well. Okay? Along with the nuclear war. It says... 
It says, All they that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave neither leave them neither root nor branch. Everything's gonna be burnt up. Okay? America's gonna, gonna be completely annihilated off the face of the earth. It's gonna be no record of it, basically. Well, it's gonna be a record of it. It's gonna be a, a smoke stack over here, man. A big ass desert. You know, and, and that's and that's just gonna be the dark land that 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 uh, uh, all the children of the future, we're going to tell them about it. Yep, yep, that was America. That was that was Babylon the Great. It says uh, back in 2 Peter chapter 3, it says, uh, verse 9, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And we all know that only the elect is going to repent. Why everybody else is going to perish in this day, and and, and rightfully so, because the Lord is watching all your wicked deeds. You're not changing. You don't care. You actually talking bad about the prophets. You making sport of the prophets, like you know, like it's fun and games. Like you think it's cute and funny and laugh at us, or right, you know, oh, hey man, we don't care. We and we together. That's the beautiful thing about being in the brotherhood, because we out there together, okay? But you got brothers out there doing it by themselves, dolo, still in the right doctrine. You know, the Lord's with these men. This is not an easy job, but you know, you know, we're gonna we're gonna fulfill that lot because you know we were called to do it. And if, and by us not doing it, it's like we don't really believe, we don't have fear of the Lord. The Lord ain't gonna do nothing. The Lord ain't gonna do nothing if I don't go out and prophesy. That's not how we think. We we think quite the opposite. Oh, we don't go out and prophesy, the Lord's gonna destroy me in a in a horrible manner. So that's how we move every single day throughout this life, because we want the Lord, the Lord to, to see us for the good that we've done. All right, we're trying to we're, we're trying to do this thing, and and the world is against us, which is a blessing, according to the scriptures. The world being against us, world hating us. Okay, but then you see how they can't do nothing about it. Going into Acts five. Okay, if this thing be of men, it would have come to naught. But since it's of the heavenly Father, ain't no man can overthrow it. It's like you trying to fight against the Heavenly Father or you're going to box him. That's a losing battle. Okay, and if you try to take us off the street, then, you know, hey, whatever. You're going to have to use physical force. Or you're going to have to put a, um, I don't want to say it like that, but you know what I mean. Um, you're going to have to change the laws. Okay, because right now we have free, freedom of speech. So we're able to go out there and preach the prop freedom of religion. Okay. The First Amendment allows all these things, so we, we're allowed to say what we're saying. That's why we have no one's gotten arrested. We're just out there reading the Bible. But they may make it a law in the future and say, oh, you can't do that no more. And anybody that does that is going to get arrested. So then we're going to be forced to stop because obviously we you know, you know, we're trying to get arrested. So we're going to be forced to stop. We're going to do what we can, try to put it on the Internet. They're going to make it hard for you to put it on the Internet because of all the censorship now. So it's going to get to the point where the words, just, it just, it's going to be lifted from the earth. It's going to be taken off the earth. And the Lord gonna bring nothing but pain. It's gonna be straight pain. It's gonna be um, it's like contractions. You going into labor, a woman going into labor, you having these contractions. It's gonna be nothing but straight contractions. And you ain't gonna have nowhere to get comfort from. The prophets are gone. The prophets have been, the the, the word has been taken off the street, and taken off the internet. <laughs> We've been telling you this, bro. Verse 10, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. You see? So the Lord's going to come when you least suspect, like a thief in the night. And the, and the, and the heavens are going to, the, the, this rulership, this kingdom is going to pass away with a great noise. What's that great noise? The destruction from the nuclear bombs. It says, with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's how hot that those missiles burn. The, a nuclear blast, it, bur it burns so hot that it just disintegrates all molecules and elements within the, in the vicinity. Okay? Everything gets, gets vaporized. It says, The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? All ho holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord. Because... You, hey, if, if, if you know that death and destruction is coming and there's a way out of it, you're going to do the best that you can to, to seal your seat onto the, on, on, into salvation. Okay, I got to do this. 
all right, well, I'm going to do this all the way until, you know, to, I don't want to die in a nuclear blast because the Lord said he's going to save us from it. All right, I'm, I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to, I'm going to teach. I'm going to, I'm going to believe. I'm going to call on this name. All right, I'm going to keep the Lord's statutes and commandments the best I can. And, and I'm going to repent. I'm going to pray. You go, you're doing all these things, the Lord might have mercy on you, man. These are easy things to do. It's hard in the sense of the way the world pulls you back. But after you get, you know, grounded in the truth, it's easy, you know? And you, you got you to gotta continue to do all those things. You got to pray, you know? That's very important. So all this is going to happen. It says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, where in the heavens... Being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So you know these things are going to happen. So the best thing for you to do is to hasten the days. Uh, but if you're hastening the day, that means you're doing what the Lord asked you to do. Because uh, pursuant to the book of Amos, the fifth chapter, is gonna, it's, it's like, uh, 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 how's it go? Uh, so what end is it for you? You're not even doing nothing for the Lord. So you hasten it. why are you hasten, calling the Lord to come back when you're not even doing what the Lord told you to do? You know, you have nothing to be excited about. But we do. All right. We we want this to be. We want this to happen. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Right. New rulership and the earth will be renewed. Wherein dwelleth righteousness because the Israelites will be running the earth um, uh, uh, under under the under Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Shai is going to be the king of kings, Lord of lords. And we're going to be kings upon this earth. Okay, we're going to be kings and we're going to have our own kingdoms. You know, granted, we're part of the elect. Okay, and then we have our Lord, Yahweh Shai. There's going to be still an order, but the earth is going to be ran on a proper rulership now. You see? And that's how, as it should be, as it deserves. Everything's going to be in its proper place. It says, uh, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Right? So that's when we watch our conduct while we're down here in the flesh, man. When you go into that uh, holy conversation, it goes into conduct, man. So we're down here watching our conduct. We're doing the best that we can to please the Heavenly Father because we, we know he's sending his son back. We, we know it, everything that's going to happen, okay, to, to a point. We know enough for us to get right with the Lord. You see? I'll oh, go ahead and we'll end it there. You know, the water for all the scriptures. I see them all on there. Yeah, man. I, I would read more, but um, yeah, I think we hit the point. And the water again, Akiyam, Brother Kazak, you know, Brother Mayam, Yah Bashim Yasha, Bashim Rakaf, Kudas Brakadam, Akiyam. And let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, Great Millstone, and Salushi Akim out there on the four corners of the globe, pushing the word out. And to your brothers and your sisters, Shalom. Peace.